my channel, I've been able to travel all around the world and make tons of new friends. And as it turns out, a lot of those friends are Muslim. And I have always been fascinated by their religion and their customs. One in particular though, really stands out and that's their month of fasting or Ramadan. Obviously there's a lot more to Ramadan than fasting. It's a month of prayer, of reflection, of coming together with, coming together to gather with your community and it, it seems really beautiful. I have enlisted the help of my friend to try and get a bit of background and maybe some last minute tips before I dive straight into this thing because I'm a bit nervous. The month of Ramadan is the ninth month in the Arabic calendar and it's the month of fasts, basically. You're abstaining from food, water, any negative behavior, sexual relations, uh, backbiting, all like the not, I mean, food is great. So I'm not gonna say not <laughs> food, drink, and the negative stuff, but food and drink very much positive. But obviously Ramadan isn't just about the fast, right? It's also about increasing your God consciousness or taqwa, fancy Arabic word that I've learned. It's like a test for your patience mainly. And it gives you an understanding of the poor as a human you don't understand another human experience unless you try it yourself and as you mentioned it's about um connecting with god so the month of ramadan is very spiritual it basically god has given us this opportunity to fix our own behaviors and to build habits that are positive do you have any tips for me or anyone who wants to try this whether they're food related or spiritual if you are a person that drinks your morning tea or morning coffee like religiously every day at a certain set, delay it an hour every day. Otherwise, the first two days of Ramadan are going to be super tough on your brain with headaches and things. <sighs> okay, that was good. A lot of information, but I'm feeling confident, nervous, but very excited. Good morning. I need to be quiet because my flatmates are sleeping next door but I am about to have my last meal, or first meal, whichever way you look at it. It's 5 a.m. and the sun is coming up. It's beautiful. I don't think I've ever really seen the sunrise from my window, so enjoying that. But um, I'm <laughs> struggling to cram in as much food as possible. I've had two Belvitas, and now I'm gonna have some bread and vegan cashew cheese. That's it. I'm I'm going back to sleep for a bit. Okay, it's quarter to six now, which means I bet I have about one hour and 30 minutes remaining of my fast, but I have to come clean about something. This is day number two, and I totally forgot to record yesterday. Well, I didn't forget as much as I was just really tired and I kept thinking, oh, I'm gonna record in a sec, and I didn't end up doing it. And Truth be told, I spent my first day of fasting just playing The Sims, that's pretty much all I did, which is bad. And I know there are so many people out there doing their job, just getting on with life as usual. So that felt pretty silly, to be honest. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna be honest throughout the entire process. And that's just how I felt. I felt really tired and I didn't wanna get out of bed. And that's okay, today I am doing so much better. I have been working on my laptop. I sat outside with my friends who are not fasting. So let me just show you what I was dealing with. Mm, lovely squash. Oh, so near yet so far. One thing that I think I need to work on is my morning meal, the suhoor, because what I've been eating probably has too much sugar and has made me thirstier than I need to be. I was just chilling with my flatmates and I totally didn't. Ah! That's not too bad, that's not too bad. Yeah. <sighs> Waited all day for this. Good <sighs> 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 cool, back. No. This is Tom, you may remember him as the man who headshotted me. I headshotted you. Yeah. I've got dates here. I'm gonna eat them. Mm, good luck. Oh, is you sure it's a date? I think I, oh, I, think I have to eat with my first date Sabina's had in ages. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll take that! <laughs> True. Day 3. 
three, I have managed to get through today successfully. I had a great day, I was very active, I hung out with my friends while they were like getting on with their lives and eating and drinking, and I didn't even feel that bad. I have to say this is an amazing way to practice your willpower. It's It's been brilliant on that account. I definitely am learning to be more patient, to not be hangry at all, and I'm, I'm having a great time. My flatmates, bless them, even though they did throw things at me yesterday, which was very naughty. Um, today, they pulled it out the bag and they surprise made me dinner. I mean, they were making dinner for themselves anyway, but they saved some for me and it looks incredible. It's Japanese ramen and we're about to go assemble it. Oh, what was that? Today I wanted to emphasize one thing, and that's that Ramadan is about so much more than just the physical fast. I know I already talked about this in my interview with Estra at the beginning of the video, but there is a really deep spiritual and emotional element to it. The Islamic month of Ramadan is actually the month during which Prophet Muhammad received revelation from God for the first time. So Ramadan is also done in his honor and to kind of commemorate that occasion. And I thought it would be a a great time to learn a bit more about him. And in order to do that, I got this book. It's called Muhammad. It's written by Karen Armstrong. She is a religious scholar from the UK and she's written quite a few books on comparative religion. If you're interested in other female scholars who are Muslim, I would highly recommend a lady called Layla Ahmed. She's an Egyptian American and she teaches religion and women's studies at the Harvard Divinity School. For anyone wanting to learn more about Ramadan, do you have any recommended reads or stuff to watch on YouTube? Like I know Mufti Meng's really popular or there's a guy in the US called Abdul Rahman Murphy, who I really love. He runs a community called Roots, which I think is so interesting. And also the Salam Girl podcast, I think is great. Those oh, I've been to the Salam Girl podcast. It's so good! There is a book that I'm intending to read this month. It's called The Study um, of the Quran and it's a new translation and it has a commentary. So it's kind of like an in-depth look at the Quran. Today I've decided I'm finally gonna try cooking something properly during daylight hours while I'm not fasting because I think it'll be a fun challenge. I want to see if I can get it to taste nice without tasting it. So today I'm going to be making some kind of a pilau rice. We're caramelizing some onions. I've added some zest from the lemon and now I'm going to whack in minced garlic and olives. I don't know. I've added a bit more oil, all of the rice after rinsing it, and we're also gonna add in some asfetida. I think I'm pronouncing that right. It's a spice that tastes of onions and garlic, and it's used in Indian and Pakistani cooking quite a lot. Now I've just added one tablespoon of tomato paste, some stock, and boiling water. We're gonna cover it and wait about 10 minutes. I've decided to bring in taste testers because I have no idea what's going on, and they have already tasted it. How are we doing? I thought Great. we were going to taste it on camera and pretend it was the first time we were tasting it. Yeah, let's do that! For the first time ever, Tom and Charlotte are tasting this dish I made. Yeah? Bit plain, mm. bit dull. Bit dull? No, I'm joking. It's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but I, I'm not sure. It's nice. Okay? Nice. Yeah? yeah? I was, I was trying to make a joke. Anything? Camera, sorry, it wasn't very funny. No, but you failed. Uh, you know that feeling when you're trying to enjoy the sunset but you're just counting down minutes so you can eat pizza? Oops. What have you done? I think that's gone over the edge. I have bought some things that I think I'll really enjoy during iftar. Watermelon, which I think will be amazing for iftar. It's, you know, a combination of food and hydration. These are called ma'amul and they're a very traditional Ramadan sweet or snack. And this is just classic baklava. Today might be my best iftar yet because I attended a cooking class by My Grateful, which is a company that employs refugees and migrant chefs and helps them integrate into local society. They're currently operating here in London, but they are running online classes at the moment, which means you can attend from literally anywhere in the world. I just wanted to take a brief moment before I dig in, a brief one because they do look good, um, to let you know how Ramadan's been for me so far. Initially, I thought I might just do a few days 
but now I think I'm probably gonna do the entire month. I have found it to be such a beautiful, positive experience. Try it for yourself, even if it's just for 24 hours, and you will be surprised how much you learn, not just about Islam and the religion itself, but about yourself. I have to say, I'm going to carry away so many lessons about overcoming your ego and I am so excited to do the rest of the month now. Hit that subscribe button and check out my other videos. That is it for me today and bye. Masalama.